Hello and welcome to The Journey, Waynesburg on Waynesburg's only faith-based show. I'm Kat Taylor and this is your patron saint of the day for February 23rd, St. Polycarp. St. Polycarp was born between 69 and 70 AD. His parents were Christian and he directly learned of Christ's teachings from St. John the Evangelist and would go on to become his disciple. Polycarp lived with many of those who had seen the Lord and in his time in Rome and other places of the Mediterranean. In his time as bishop, he preserved the doctrine of the apostles and spread the gospel to pagans. He was described as a patient and lovable preacher throughout his ministry. At the age of 86, Polycarp was martyred and he was brought before the Proncoscal and asked to curse Christ. Polycarp refused and stated that he had served Christ for 86 years and the Lord had done him no harm, that he could not curse his king, the king that had saved him. Polycarp was born to, burned at the stake and remained unharmed as the flames never touched him. He would be killed by a sword since the flames did not. Polycarp was martyred on Saturday, February 23rd in the year 155. He is the patron saint of martyrs of the faith. Coming up next is Tyler Aaron with the word of encouragement. Thank you for listening. I'm Kat Taylor and God bless. Have you ever wondered what the life of a Yellow Jacket newspaper looks like? Why don't we show you? Straight from the printing press to our editor's desk into the newsstands, you can pick up your own copy of the Yellow Jacket newspaper at Buell Hall, the Stover Campus Center, or any of our other newsstand locations on campus. you get your very own copy, you can read it at your own leisure anywhere around Waynesburg. You can kill time waiting for your next class to start by reading up on campus news and our op-ed pieces. You can even take your copy to the Beehive and catch up with friends as you read up on the latest regional stories. Looking for a peaceful place to read now? Head on over to the Everly Library. Sit back, relax, and catch up on the latest in Waynesburg sports. Oh, and if you didn't know, we are also digital at theyellowjacket.org. Hello and welcome back to The Journey. I'm Tyler Aaron and I am here to share a word of encouragement with you. The verse that I've picked for you today is about facing adversity through difficult times. 2 Corinthians chapter 4 verses 8 and 9 says, We are hard pressed on every side but not crushed, perplexed but not in despair, persecuted but not abandoned, struck down but not destroyed. This verse is important because it speaks about all of the hardships we face in life and how with God we will always stay up on our feet. It reminds us that though we may think we are at the end of our rope, we are never at the end of our hope. We are subject to sin and suffering, but God never abandons us. All of our risks, humiliations, and trials are opportunities for Christ to demonstrate His power and presence in us. We all experience times of adversity in our lives. Throughout my life, I have faced many instances of adversity from studying for a final exam to bracing myself for college. However, these verses shows us that you are not in the fight alone. It helps me overcome adversity even when things get really hard. With midterm week approaching here at Waynesburg, we have to remind ourselves that God is with us and he will fight alongside us. Even when adversity comes, God is there to be with you. Adversity doesn't hurt us with God, it only makes us stronger. Turn to God and His words during times of adversity for strength and comfort. When we put our faith in Him, He will help guide us to the path of happiness and peace. When opposition, slander, disappointment, or adversity threatens to rob you of victory, remember that no one can destroy what God has accomplished through you. I'm Tyler Aaron, and this was your word of encouragement. Thank you for watching this episode of The Journey, and God bless. This has been a production of Waynesburg Community Television.